All right, welcome back to Silent Hill 2. There's that wonderful PlayStation 2 noise that brings back so many good memories. That and the PS1, some of the best noises. They just envelop your existence. Here's a logo that brings back a lot of good memories, but now it just kind of hurts. Silent Hill 2 is turning out to be a good game. A couple people said it's not a good game to stream. Like It's better to just play on your own. I don't know, I kind of disagree. So far, so far at least, I've been enjoying it. As much as you can enjoy a dark, disturbing, psychological, th horror, existential crisis of a game, I guess. But I'm, I'm liking it, and I'm playing it under the, the vision of, okay, this is a game from a while ago. There's stuff in here that means things that I don't understand yet, and that's okay. Now we're gonna check out this room. Uh, once again, this game can get fucked up from what I understand. I've been... I don't really know the specifics, but... If you're not into super fucked up, then you may maybe don't want to watch too much of this. Um, if you can't handle it. But you should just watch it anyway, because it's good for you to, uh, you know, f face, face the fucked up things. Look them dead in the eye and say, you know what? I'm, I can handle this. I can do this. But if not, you bail. And you just bail. So, what did I just get? I'm sorry, I was- I was talking about not being a weenie. What- what did- what did I just get? I wanna check the knife. Um... I got a key? There's a key in there? Okay, sorry about that. This is- this key, maybe? I have to get back into the swing of it, because since I last streamed this, I played a lot of different types of games. So... My brain is not wired for Silent Hill 2 as it was... ...the other day, so please give me a couple minutes to, uh... Re re ...rejoin. So I got the note on the bed. I guess there was a key. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't get the key. How do I... No, it says here... ...painting is displayed here. There's nothing particular interest. Am I not able to pick that up? I already did. Okay, so it was just the apartment key and that's it. Alright. Um, again, keep in mind, I'm not going to play this game perfectly. I know there's multiple endings, just because that it's just one of those things that you just know. Um, I'm gonna play this game very dumb. And if that's not... That's not acceptable. Then I guess I'll... I'll just go fuck myself then, I guess that's fine. <laughs> but I'm gonna- I'm gonna continue playing it the way I wanna play it. Okay, so... We're still in the apartments, and I, I have the key. Let's try to find the locked door now, wherever that may be. It might be. Okay, I, I'm remembering the controls now. Hey, why did my light turn off?
chat, can I show you something truly horrible? Don't eat the ass. Oh. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. Why can't I? Where? 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 What? Where? Okay. Okay. Huh. Oh shit. Pyramid friend, please. Doesn't seem like it's having an effect. Jamie, please. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's doing anything! Is your head a pyramid? Jamie, aim at the aim at the body, Jamie! James. Jamie Sunday Lundy. I'm gonna use the pointed stick. I don't know what the fuck. Ah! So good. All right, you return to your fucking trash water. I'll just deal with weird suspense and not abject horror from here on out. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. Colonel, I've managed to avoid dying. Holy shit.
don't think I want to be down here if, if Pyramid Head is anywhere near this area. For fuck's sake. Again, anyone just joining or anyone who's new to the stream, this is my first time playing this game. Just trying to figure it all out. As I was saying before, if you want to see something truly horrifying, the scariest thing Silent Hill 2 has ever brought into this world, it's this cover of PSM. There he is, there's James Sunderland, action hero, with big, thick, rippling muscles across his pelvis, his wrist, his leg thigh, his neck, big rippling muscles. Why would they do this? I still don't have confirmation that Rob Leefield actually drew that, but I would not be surprised in the slightest if he did. Again, there's no feet in the shot, so there's, you know, he can't draw feet, so he doesn't. So I'm assuming that might be him, I don't know. But, yeah, he's massive. Also, does anyone know where I can get this jacket? <laughs> I like- I like James's jacket. <sighs> Don't you already? Oh, yeah, I kinda do have- I kinda do have a similar jacket, never mind. Grunge R Us, that's a good place to go to shop, yeah. They sell dirty cardigans that they drop in mud. Let them dry a bit. Get the crust off. Then sell. Okay. An FMV is supposed to play here? I'm not happy about this. I didn't do anything. Just... just fucking crashed. Someone said, should have played the PC version. For every one person that told me to play the PC version, ten people told me it was not worth it. Could have done the Xbox One version. A hundred people told me not to do that version. So. I, d I don't know. You know, I can only do one thing at a time here. And hope for the best. So that's lame. I had no problems the first time I streamed this. Apparently that specific scene crashes every time, not sure how true that is. That ain't true. No, but what if it, you know, what if it does though? That's... That's not good. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I have to survive the pyramid head thing again. I'm not gonna waste my bullets. I'm gonna survive. We'll go down there, we'll figure this out. I'm gonna do a save state right before that. 
Vinny, have I missed much of you playing Silent Hill 2 tonight? Absolutely nothing. It's faster if you shoot him. People are saying japes, other people are saying it's 35 shots. Alright, well whatever, I'm not gonna bother shooting. A wooden stick. Why does Pyramid Head wield a fucking gun blade from Final Fantasy VIII? Without the gun. Come on, pyramid friend. Go! Leave this place! Long fucking sequence. I mean, long enough the first time, longer the second time. Only because it feels longer. It's not actually longer. Unless... Am I japing chat? Oh, oh, fuck. Why? Why? I got cocky. Don't get cocky, Fox! Vinny, you dropped your blood. Oh, let me go back and get that real quick. I'm pressing A, but I can't pick up the... Jamie looks like Bowie from one some of these angles. Right as he was leaving? Oh, he was leaving just then? That's cool. Oh. Oh, that's cool. What a, what a nice sequence. What a nice video game sequence. Oh, man. The siren means he's leaving. Okay. So what do you want to talk about for the next five minutes, chat?
let's do an experiment, huh? I have 121 shots. That's 10. That's 11. 18, 19, 20, 21. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 30. and japes see it was worth it I I'll lose the ammo to prove that it wasn't japes we have now on film for the thousandth time probably pyramid head leaving after 35 shots confirm myth busted Wouldn't it be confirmed? M myth busted confirmed. Myth confirmed busted. Okay, we're gonna make sure that that cutscene doesn't ruin the game as it as it did once before. So here's what we're gonna do. Did you see that little skip? You know what that means. means nothing. It's bad frame rate. Nothing at all. Uh, we'll try again. See, the thing is, it switches to a certain mode to play the cutscenes. There's a fix for this that I implemented, so that should not have gone down like that. Um, uh, I'm sorry it did for me and for you. You! See? It was you, wasn't it? It's good this time. You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? <laughs> Shit. How do you know Mary's name? Creepy as fuck. And of all the things that she could say to really cut into Jame, she knew what it was. Rosewater Park by the parking. Yeah, James is the singular of James. It's just one. Yeah. I love the, um, it sounds like, you know what it sounds like? Metal scraping on a big dumpster in the distance. Uh, 
that like you know the high end just taken off some reverb thrown on it focus on the lows and mids Do something with dumpsters. The Clamato. Also, I, I now I'm remembering, of course, that James looks at stuff. I have to be a little bit more aware of of James looking at random things. You'll notice the camera is going a little mental. You could almost see how this would be nice if it were a nice day and not gross and, and we weren't hearing like distant dumpster noises. James looks like a younger me. Well, maybe a little bit. It's the hair. Was, this was the time for people with the part. We don't see a lot of the part anymore, but Leon had it. James has it. Who else had the part? Whether it be a little messy or more neat, or in the middle, Han Solo or otherwise. Dante? OOT Link? Oh yeah, I guess so. I wasn't gonna really... I wasn't sure I wanted to count that necessarily, but... But it works. God damn it. I, I see where I have to go. I just, I'm getting a little lost. It's not hard to get lost in this game. I want to look through. I want to see all the cool stuff in the distance that's possible to see. Like the island across from the dam in Goldeneye. That is a person. Does anyone have a fix for this? Does anyone know how to fix this? This did not happen. Mary? What the f- No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. Her name is Maria. Oh, come on. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not married. Super David I told Lynch. You, I'm Maria. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only 
special place. Well, there's the hotel too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? <laughs> no, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm... All alone here, and everyone else is gone. I look like Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? <laughs> or maybe you hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, okay. I have a person now. Hello, person. This is really spoopy. Uh, listen, the David Lynch approach is really working for me. I didn't know if it would at first. I know this game is sacred to people. I know it's sacred. So, hear me out. When I shit on it a little bit, you know, I, I'm mainly doing it because it's, it just makes me laugh a little bit. But, I'm gonna tear this game apart. You ready? What is she doing, all alone, out here, on this boardwalk, with fog and monsters? What kind of bullshit is that? Right? Right, chat? I know, it's crazy. In memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lit. Oh, Jesus. No, it's just... I understand that there's a rhyme and reason to, like, everything, and I have to build up to it. So, I'm eagerly anticipating the answers I so desire. But I do... I do appreciate that the game just blatantly throws a thing at you. And it's very confusing at first. It has its own language. Also, chat, I am actually not looking for spoilers. As soon as I start seeing the word spoilers in chat, I kind of tend to just look away. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really after that. So, I, whatever plot I was jokingly asking for, I don't actually want that. The cutscene thing is kind of bumming me out, though. I don't- I don't know what's going on. Uh, someone said switch to one core. So it only uses one core. I don't know how to do that. Honestly, if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm just saving a lot. But the saves are only going to be used for crashes. So... That's only for the C the PC version. Oh, the core thing is only for the PC version. Okay, never mind then. Vinny, did you just skip the first game? Well, I know they're loosely connected, and I was more interested in Silent Hill 2 than 1. I can't say I'll never stream Silent Hill 1, but considering you can play this as its own thing, that's why I started with Silent Hill 2. I figured if I was going to do an introduction to the series, I, I wanted to try the PS2 one, and this is the one that most of my uh, loyal compatriots have recommended to me, and I like it a lot so far. Um, someone said I'm surprised you missed these g oh god.
Someone said I'm surprised you missed these games. Money was short. You know, it was, I wasn't really into horror games too much. Like, um... You know, I had a GameCube and a PS2. And I bought a lot of GameCube games. I wasn't, like, a hundred percent into the horror games. You know, Eternal Darkness, Resident Evil 1 Remake, Resident Evil 4 were the ones that I was like, oh. Oh my. Musculature. So, there's a lot of games that I, I had. There's a lot of games I ended up buying. But I, money was so tight that I had to pick and choose. So for me, it wasn't like, oh, well, I don't know if I want Silent Hill. You know, I wanted to, like, shoot. I wanted to fight. I wanted to play as Link. So with my limited money, those were the games I bought, and then years later when I discovered like, oh, there's a lot of different types of games out there, that's when I started kind of discovering other genres and stuff. And I was playing a lot of PC games at the time, too. Also, you know, the magazines I was reading... I don't recall reading a lot about Silent Hill in the magazines I was reading at the time. Maybe they were in there. Maybe it was in there somewhere. But... I don't know. To try to figure out what I what I want to do here, where I want to go. There's a lot of guesswork. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go down Nathan Avenue. My name. Probably one of the stupidest things I've done on the stream, that I've made a thing, a recurring thing. Up there with Bob's Borglars. <laughs> Could you imagine dying to that dude? After the pyramid head sequence? No save point in between there and here. So I'm gonna tell you a spooky pizza story, alright? Never mind, I hear a car. I think I should check this out. Steel pipe. Range, but it's not it's not as uh, effective. Maybe I don't know. It says it's not very good. It's really nice of the game to give me all this stuff. Pipe is same strength, but better range. Oh, that's good. More creepy noises happening, and I can't see a goddamn thing.
sure there are people that know every nook and cranny of this town and where every item is. But yeah, Sil Silent Hill, you know, I knew this going in, is I can't see shit the game. Anyway, spooky pizza story. It's, it's actually not spooky at all, but I met up with um, one of my mods today, Chromatic, who's in town because we're going to go see them Nine Inch Nail fellas. It's pretty exciting. But uh, we went to this place called Sauce. Downtown, like, uh, in the East Village. I had never been there, but Funny Pizza Man Review Man one by gave it a really high score. And I was in the city anyway. I was like, yeah, let's do it. It was pretty good. It was all right. They have a weird slice called an upside down slice where they put the sauce on top of the cheese and it's got a little bit more oregano on it. Legit. So, of course, me, you know, the pizza man, goes to a place called Sauce. Anyway, I like to try different places. I wanted to see if this guy's review was accurate. And I'd say, yeah, it was pretty damn accurate. Gave it like a 9.1. Defaris, he gave a 9.4. That was his favorite. And then a 9.3 to uh, John's, which is my favorite, probably. So, it wasn't spooky at all, I just lied. Spooky pizza's in that Gorilla's music video. The ghost pizza. Finn, have you had artichokes before? It's in Brooklyn, round Barclays. Guess what I had... ...with a couple friends before... ...the Gorilla show. I had... ...that exact pizza place. I didn't have the artichoke pie in particular, I had the artichoke- I had the uh, pepperoni slice, which was fucking massive. Five dollar slice. But it is massive. Yeah, I had it. I've been, um... ...been eating a lot of pizza lately, because... <laughs> ...I've been watching this asshole's reviews, and every time I watch one of his reviews, I'm like... ...please, um... ...please give me a slice of pizza. Funny pizza, man. Uh, James a little fucked up. Not a whole lot happened to him. All right, we're good. Vinny, how is your metabolism so good? Oh, it won't be for long, Nick. Mm. I also don't eat a lot. That's the thing. Like, I, I have pizza. You know, I have like a, a light lunch. And I'll have a couple slices. And I won't- I won't go like crazy. Vinny, have you tried dill pickle pizza yet? Now that's the baby from Rugrats, voiced by Tara Strong. Which was like the scrappy-do of the Rugrats show, wasn't it? No, but seriously, that- that is- that sounds fucking disgusting. A lot of, um, a lot of running down the street in this game. What's a light lunch to you? I can explain. Pete's. There's something at Pete's. Okay. Looks like there's something important at Pete's. There's there's a big circle. Okay. Olorama. Maybe that's a hint. Go there now. Do not delay. Oh, this is a dead end. Looks like there ain't no getting out of Silent Hill. 
A light lunch for me is like half a sandwich. A lettuce, tomato. Uh, maybe BLT. On like a toast. But like not the full one half. Actually, that's not true. If it's on toast, I'll probably have the full one. But if it's on a roll, then I'll have half. Yeah, that's a light lunch. But even that's a little heavy. It's bacon. Of course it's going to be heavy. But, um... You know, like a bagel. Half a bagel. That's still pretty fucking heavy, actually. Mmm. Vinny, that's not heavy. Well, I mean, bagels. That's a lot of carbs. It depends on what you put on the bagel, too. Just saying. What do I usually put on a bagel? I guess ham and cream cheese is cool. Stuff like that. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's, it's better than you'd expect. Maybe you don't need uh, cream cheese, you do Swiss. Or just, uh... Yeah, something like that. Cream cheese and bacon is surprisingly... Yeah, for some people, I've had, pe I've had people tell me that... Cream cheese plus meat is weird. I don't think it's that weird, to, you know, personally. I also think bacon and cream cheese is a, an amazing combination on a bagel. But, uh... Also, there's a deli that does macaroni salad. It's like they do a... tricolor pasta. And I could have just one of those. It's got, like, peppers and onions and stuff in it. It's amazing. It's really good. And I could just have, like, a small one of those for lunch if I want a really light lunch, like, if I have shit to do. I don't... don't want to get gross. I know, this is food chat at, at late o'clock, but... Again, this isn't the most riveting section of the game. Uh, I, I know, again, I know people... are absolutely... in love with this game. I like it quite a bit. But let's face it, I've been running around for ten minutes in the fog. So... Until something a little bit more attention-grabbing happens, I need something to talk about. I'm looking for the door I have to go in. Is this the one? I guess I missed that a couple times. That I'll wait sucks. Here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Sure, we're good. Cutscene protection is now on. It's this fucker. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Huh? You're just a gutless fat so. Oh my what'd God. you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were after you. No. I just ran because I was scared. <laughs> That's me. Just eating pizza. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something Running from bad, cops. <laughs> why don't you just say you were sorry? Well, I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Yep. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? The infamous pizza scene, huh? Ah. 
Damn, this game has some fucking good music. what she said this town is full of monsters how can you sit there and eat pizza she said she was fine by herself she said a fatso like me would just slow her down forget you oh that's so good which of the deadly sins is eddie well that should be obvious who is that girl anyhow i don't know all i know is her name I swear. Pizza. I just, I just like pizza. He has lust, but only for pizza. Turns out you can have a lot of deadly sins with pizza. You can be greedy for pizza, you can be gluttonous for pizza, you can be lustful for pizza. Maybe you're prideful if you make your own pizza. He's lusty for that crusty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can be envious of better pizza, that's interesting. everything in here I don't know if I if I did it's like this is the back room I was in here briefly just making sure just making sure okay that takes us back to Eddie it looks like this place has been fully discovered yeah the cool thing about having like the fog and then the tight interiors is you could really like this is a ps2 game some of this doesn't look like PS2. I mean, gra granted, the re resolution's higher. But the textures are pretty sharp, and the lighting engine's really good. Yeah, the filter does help. But they definitely got a lot out of the Did PS2. Did girl run out of here? Yeah. She was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? I mean, if you're implying, then I, I, I guess I should. She went through there. I knew this alley had to have some purpose. Oh, well, never mind then. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. <laughs> I, I. Right through there. 
It's no good. It's locked. Look at this skirt. It's all leopardy. People still wear leopard. Anyone wearing leopard at the moment? More cool music. Empty can, sink, cardboard box. None of them will be any use. Lo-fi hip-hop beats to chill to. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like how the sounds in this game go from abject terror to I'm now relaxed fully. That is Booby's paradise. After that Sunday stream, that, let's say, never happened, just a regular stage. There's nothing strange about it. I mean, I don't know, there's some strange stuff that happens on the stage, I'm sure. Did you ever see a ping pong show? Um, yeah, could you imagine? Twitch ignored that entirely, but then I look at a neon... <laughs> I look at the neon lady, and they're like, listen, dude, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. What are you doing looking at neon ladies? Okay, goodbye. Oh, oh, hello! really been a while since the save point. I mean, I'm good. You know, I've been making sure just in case of a cutscene crash, but I don't know if I just missed one or... It's a really long stretch. some reason into a nice uh derelict gross hospital
Brookhaven Hospital. Hospitals are a staple of the Silent Hill series, but I, I associate a lot of the imagery and iconography I remember from Silent Hill with, you know, hospitals, just based on, again, what I see at conventions. What I've seen of, like, you know, videos of it. it it's a thing. The nurses are in, of course, uh, you know, they're they're a popular they're a popular cosplay. Just wanna make sure I didn't miss a goddamn save point. Yeah, I'd much prefer to save legitimately. Finally, that's a long ass distance, and I'm sure I missed one or two, but it's a long time since the last one. No memos of particular interest. Big, heavy footsteps. Oh, I missed a... Okay, hang on a minute. The document room I haven't been in. So, is this Resident Evil? Got the typewriter? The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. It is the Twilight Zone. Some say it isn't even an illness. I can't, I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. Just that line, why must we drag him into the, to our own reality? That's pretty, uh, it's pretty heavy. Just let me stream in peace. Just want to keep streaming in peace. Yep, 
Vinny, you have to forgive yourself. Impossible. Impossible. Again, it goes back to what Snake said at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. It's like, what is reality? You know, what, what you perceive to be real, that's real enough. Okay, I don't like him. Don't like him. Little sister, can't you find another way? Kind of reminds me of the little sisters from Bioshock, but they're, I guess they're big sisters. Vinny, watching this game with an audience already feels off. I can only imagine what playing it with one must be like. I, I again, this is a you thing. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. Maybe I'm not cool enough, or whatever. A couple people have said that. I'm not forcing anyone to watch. I don't mind playing it with an audience. If I didn't play it with an audience, I probably would have never played it. So I'm glad that I'm doing that. There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can read the imprint left on it. I know... It... I know the number of the box. 8345. I can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am is who I am is who I am is all work and no play Mix Jack a dull boy and the reason I wouldn't have played this otherwise is because I wouldn't have the push. You know, chances are I would have been playing way less video games anyway. But streaming them... What? What's that noise? Sh streaming them encourages me to play all sorts of games that I never would have picked up. And that's very... That's very good. I'm glad that I've gotten a chance to experience Dead Space, for example, this like a million other games. Oh, this is a really... This is a really, um, horrifying sound. But we're gonna continue and pretend that... Oh, you just teleported. That's fine. She does that a lot. What about Sunday streams? Say what you will about Sunday streams, but they've opened my mind. I've streamed... ...probably hundreds, if not... ...fucking thousands of games... ...that I never would have played or known about otherwise. Genres I didn't even know existed. The nurses move. I know it's a direct, direct inspiration from Jacob's Ladder. 
Vinny, I think what people mean, what you mean, is that Silent Hill's more intimate experience to them, especially a lot of the fans of the series, more usual, more entertaining experience. The whole public gaming element feels more out of place than with other games. Okay, I understand that, and I, I concede to your opinion, and that's cool. Um... That- that makes more sense. It's like, yeah, it's an intimate game experience. It's- it's- it's a game where you want to experience this stuff alone in a dark room without, uh, commentary. But, um... You know, I'm streaming it. So... I mean... But the thing is, like... You know, no one has to watch this. <laughs> If it ruins the experience for anyone, then, you know, I mean, that sucks, I'm sorry. But it's- it's just- I'm streaming it, and... So... And so that's it, I guess. That's that's the thing with Silent Hill that I've noticed is it, it comes back to a very intense fan base who is very passionate about the series, and um, it, it also comes to how how is the correct way to play this game in line with other people's correct ways to play the game. But that's a lot of games and a lot of different series. God knows I've streamed plenty of them. I suppose if I watched someone play Chrono Trigger, and they weren't really paying full attention to the story, I'd probably be a little pissed myself. Or maybe if they didn't do the side quests. I love the side quests in Chrono Trigger. I'd be pretty pissed about that, too. Because the side quests give a lot of character development. Vinny, I renamed the characters in Chrono Trigger. Is that bad? No, I'm not that much of a purist. I don't have that much. That's fine, I think. What's your favorite horror movie? Oh, fuck. I don't know. We go through this a lot. I, I, it's hard to say. I mean, I'm maybe I'm kind of basic, but I kind of like um, The Shining, The Thing, Jacob's Ladder. Someone in chat just said The Last Jedi. <laughs> The original Halloween was- I saw that when I was young. That really got me. But the slasher movies don't really do it for me anymore. Um, Freddy Krueger scared the fuck out of me because that was- It was more of an idea. That was an ingenious concept for a movie. Like, sleep... ...isn't enough to escape the bad things because the bad thing is in your dreams. That's a real good way to fuck up someone's... Someone's day. Birdemic, you know, I've seen Birdemic for the first time recently. Holy shit. Oh, nice. Shotgun acquired. Not a lot of ammo for it yet, but... Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah.
Bent needle. Just a normal stuffed animal. There's nothing else. Um, I think I've told this story quite a bit, but I'll, I'll tell you one more time. Just since we're on the topic of uh, movies, I saw The Exorcist way too young. My, co my cousin <laughs> didn't force me to watch it with him, but it was on and I wanted to see it. And so I watched it probably like six years old, seven. That is extremely nightmare inducing, that movie. Way too young for that shit, too. I didn't see the other ones. Um, the Exorcist is kind of based on a true story, in case you didn't know. That's, I think, one of the reasons why later on in life, it still kept its, like, kind of fear level. Where I could have just chalked it up to being a scary movie. As I got older, I realized, oh. You know. There have been exorcisms. Whether or not, you know, what they are. Who the fuck knows, but there- there are stories, there's some famous ones. Is it all japes? Is it all propaganda? Is it... some kind of mental illness that people, uh... prescribe devil to? Which I think is probably, for me, my rational mind goes to that. Where, you know... Maybe it wasn't... Back in the 60s and 70s, it wasn't something that people fully understood. And so they would just say, oh, this is the devil. So. But whatever the case is, you know, hearing about these exorcisms, and then watching the movie, that fucked me right up. That is not a fun thought to have when you're young. It's a cover over the elevator call button. Can I use the... No. I missed something... Very specific, and I, I kind of just read what it was, and I don't- I'm not upset that I- I read the chat about it. That's okay. I would have been stuck here for a while. I would have gone back in every room, but one by one. Which normally... Which normally, maybe on my own, I would have just dealt with. But I, I'm, I'm really okay with this. I'm just happy the big spoilers have been kind of not happening. And people generally haven't told me where to go until I got stuck. And even then, barely at that. So... I missed- see, this is the thing. I was in here, and I didn't think to touch the bloody jacket. Another thing here. What are you looking at, James? Are you looking at the teddy bear still? Is that a... It's not a porno mag, is it?
extremely quiet between lack of me speaking. It's a weird way to phrase that, but between me not speaking and there just being no sounds. So, examination room key, but I've been in here a couple times. So, this isn't the right examination room. Maybe, uh... Maybe it's a different floor. I'm gonna look around. Probably gonna go back downstairs and see if I can... get to another examination room. There's a lot of... There's a lot of me checking the map over and over and over again, isn't there? It was just a meat snort. Ugh! I got the meat snorts! Vinny, did you ever stream Bioshock? Weirdly enough, I haven't, even though... ...kind of love that game. It'll happen eventually. I don't know when, but it'll, it'll... ...you know, it'll have to happen eventually. Surprised I never streamed it. Bioshock is a terrible stream game. What is it with... Games that are off limits for streaming. <laughs> What's going on here? It's. I don't think it's a terrible stream game. Oh, man. Vinny, why do you keep reading those? I don't know. It's like it's random. It's totally random. I just like to address them to call them out a little bit. I think it's fun. Not, not even call out, not to be scummy, but I like to analyze the statement, discuss it, question it, get confused by it, and then eat pant live on stream. But really, though, I don't I don't know what class... Of, like, I get some games are probably better in a dark room with the lights out just by yourself. I can understand that. I don't think Bioshock is necessarily that specifically. It's a good game. It's got some spoop. But I remember seeing plenty of streams of Bioshock. 8, 3, 4, 5. I hope that's the code. Let's see. Does Alien count as a horror movie? It does, right? I mean, it's suspenseful. It's body horror. It's like horror sci-fi. Oh, then that's up there. That's that's one of my favorite movies, period, but that's also up there. With, um... I don't think this is the right code. <laughs> Open. Well, I mean, it's it's like this. 
the reason I ask is it a horror movie because you could classify it as sci-fi slash horror or horror slash sci-fi. Like, what is it first? What is it specifically? Does it really matter? No, I guess not. It's just conversation. Someone else just said, nice chat today. <laughs> Does anything matter? Not really. Not when you think about it long enough. Um, let me check my inventory and see. Maybe I got the number wrong. 8435, was it? 8345. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the definition of insanity. All right. All right. I don't have the code to this. Let's keep exploring. Just the roof up there, okay. Yeah, the paper says it's a code for the box, not the not a door specifically, but I mean it it was a combo of numbers. Combination of numbers, I figured maybe it's something. Let me try it. But I have some more keys that I didn't have earlier, so let me try those. We have this examination room here. Darth Vader is here. Darth Vader has arrived. Okay, I didn't go into the day room. Mind? Yeah, I almost did the OE Sunny bit myself. I was tempted. There's another examination room in the middle. A lot of these rooms are really mashed together. You know what, while I'm here...
Medical records on the desk. Ammo in the sink. Third floor patient wing hall, 7335. Are you posing? <laughs> There's a memo hanging on the refrigerator. Food only, do not store drugs. Seven three three five. Three three five. Okay, now I just have to go back up. Mr. Vine Sauce, I've heard you do the funny voice very good. Could you maybe please do the funny voice for me here today? Well, funny voice needs to, needs to be activated by a specific moment. If any of those moments occur during tonight's stream, you'll know about it. The funny voice. Australian Peter Griffin. <laughs> what? Oh my god, Lois. What the fuck are you doing here, mate? Lo lo Lois. What? What am I doing? sounds I don't even want to say it's music necessarily but the sound I'm hearing right now is off-putting say the fucking least James <coughs> wait a minute I'm kind of tired. <laughs> it's just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <laughs> so comfy. Mm. I'm going to go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Comfy, huh? Uh, yeah, well, good luck in here. Uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. Lay in a shitty fucking bed. Someone in chat just said, I'll leave you five feet away from murder nurses. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be just fine.
See, I do wish I played this game when I was younger, when, when things were a little bit more frightening for me. Just double check. Okay, everything. I'll be honest, even if I played this on my own today, it wouldn't have had the same effect on me as it would have if I was like 13, 14, like when it came out. I was like, I guess I was about 15, 16 when it came out. I think I would have really enjoyed that. Well, when I say enjoy that, I mean it would have scared the fucking shit out of me. I still do get a little scared from horror games. More unsettled. I like the psychological horror. It depends. I mean, you know, the Tattletale game had some pretty good fucking scares. And some games do end up scaring me, despite myself. But it just doesn't have the same impact as when I was a kid. Someone really doesn't want me to get in this. Louise, I'll take care of you for ever. Forever. It is my destiny. Forever. That's interesting. Mmm. Four, 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 four. Oh my god, Louise. Are you my grat? the uh, required I guess I would need some kind of like long boy hmm shit Eternal Darkness was good. I guess that game came out around 2012. 2002 or 3, I meant. <laughs> like I said, like fucking 2012, what? But that game... ...was surprising enough that it got me a lot. But I was also really enjoying The Devil's Lettuce at that time, where, you know, it hit me different to the point where I was like, oh yeah, I'll just, just have that Devil's Lettuce. Yeah. So, that probably added to the experience to some extent. So... I'm 
something on the floor. Is this diary? May 9th, rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here, nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic, weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11, stream's anniversary. Rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th, my birthday. Rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released. That's what I've got to go home. That I've got to go home. Sorry. I... The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? I have theories. I'm not going to articulate them just yet. But I like that I just have theories. And no oh, not this stuff again. Oh my god, no. No, James, no! Right, lad? Jesus. Jame. Oh, I'm almost dead. That's fine. Special treatment room. <laughs> you got anything for a broken back? Speaking of eternal darkness, may the rats eat your eyes. turn the numbers better not forget them so I'll write them down here the other one my secret name It's either 1714 or 1914. So it says turn, so my initial reaction is that it's the, the, the fucking the padlock instead of the um well, padlock isn't the right word. What would you call that kind of lock, as opposed to the digital lock? Combination lock. Swirly lock? Yeah, it's a little swirly dirly, you know what I mean? Me and John, we used to have a little swirly competition, you know what I mean? See who could do the swirl, pull it off better, you know? You know, just pulling off a little twist at the end there. Twist and shout, what do you think that meant, man?
Oh, I did the funny voice by accident. There you go, there's- there it is. I need me some of them disappearing locks. Some there's still more in there. Suspense is killing me. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. There are a few hairs inside. Four locks. Other thing I could combine it with? At least I'm making progress. Should we check on... The Maria, uh, the, the Mary facsimile clone. James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't thought about that. Such a simple piece of dialogue, barely anything to it, and yet, I got a lot out of that. He's on this thing, he's gotta find Mary, that is his sole thing, and that's what he has to do. He, to the point where he hasn't even considered hasn't even considered that there might not be another way. A poor son of a bitch. Yeah, when I saw that you could do combine plus use, it kind of clicked. Also, that's still fucking disgusting.
really don't want to go back on the roof. It's a good thing I don't have to be up here then. Patient wing. Patient wing. I don't know what floor that was on. This doesn't matter. Does it doesn't matter? They're spamming E because they see the E for elevator. I just know the squiggly line is usually the one. Oh, anyway. Metroid, other E. Oh, yep, no. Well, wrong E. The damn squiggle. When you see a squiggle, that means you're shit out of luck. Some more metal machine music. Lou Reed's best album. I am joking, by the way. Please don't take me serious when I say metal machine music is the best Lou Reed album, because it is barely classifiable as music. Really, Google it. I've talked about it on stream before, but I'll tell you what it is, just in case you don't know, because I think it's, it is a fascinating subject. I think Lou Reed was contractually obligated to deliver another album to be continued. cool place to play. <laughs> Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. It was last year. You 
liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... <laughs> I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. Wake up, James. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait! There's something I gotta get! Later, okay? But it's really important! What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes! What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Oh my god, James. James. James! Laura! What are you doing? Um... Ha ha, I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? The Do biggest that? little shit on the planet. What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open up! Why, you... you... Laura? You fucking... <laughs> Fart face. Siren.
Now I'm starting to wonder how si how Jacob's ladder is this. Is that siren a direct reference to like some kind of war? Ooh, fuck. Some kind of war James was- I'm just talking to myself. You know, because in Jacob's Ladder, Tim Robbins' character was in war. Also, the jacket is the same as the one that Tim Robbins- that's his name, right? Tim Robbins? Yeah, that's his name, right? How did I forget that dude's name? So I just kind of like teleported over here. That's fine, I guess. Um, that was the garden. I want to finish my Metal Machine Music story because I have to bring up Metal Machine Music at least once every two or three years, but... Under contractual obligation that Lou Reed did not wish to fulfill, he made an album called Metal Machine Music, which was just... the sounds of metal scraping on other metal. Not really music. Not songs. Completely avant-garde. Someone in chat said that their dad owned a record shop. And then when they wanted customers to leave, they would play Metal Machine music. So that's the kind of album it is. Here, let me play a little bit of it for you. I'm skipping around increments of like 10 minutes. Okay, so I just got an ad. But anyway, the point is, that's the whole album. That, those sounds are, that's Metal Machine music. So, stream's over, by the way, so I want you to leave. That's why I played it. No, seriously, it's, it's 3.30. This is me pushing it. I'm pushing it to the limit, and I want to now, uh, check the art and go to bed. So, at least we got through some of the hospital, most of the hospital, perhaps. Um, the story continues to unfold in weird ways, and I, I don't know what the hell's going on, despite my suspicions. Uh, I like it so much. I'm not just saying that. It is appropriately creepy. With lots of subtext. And... Just... Yeah, psychological horror. Not your traditional horror game. But then again, this is also a game that influenced a fuckload of other games. So, it's good to go back to the original or the source of a lot of that. And, uh, we'll continue this next time. I just, I'm having a good time with it. To be continued. Well, when I say fun, it's not fun in the same way when you like, you know, you play like um, Mario Kart. It's a different type of fun. It's it's a fun of, oh my fucking God. That kind of fun. Stimulating, that's one way to put it, sure. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for um, continuing to enjoy the streams, if if you do. I would like to let you know that, as I said before, this week is going to be kind of weird for me. It's going to be a busy week. I will be around tomorrow. Wednesday, I might be here late. I, I don't think I can do an early stream Wednesday, so I'm going to have to... Excuse me, Jesus Christ. Sitting up after streaming for a while is, is a weird thing. So I, I might be here late on Wednesday. 
Thursday I should be here, and then Friday I'm going to do, oh my god, hiccups? Friday I'm going to do an early, slightly shorter stream, because Friday night I'm going to Atlantic City for that game convention, which starts Saturday into Sunday. I'll be there both days, Sunday less so, so I could get home at a reasonable time. I'll be doing my Sunday stream, but take, you know, there's still tickets if you wanted to go to Atlantic City and, and you know, pass out face first um, into a slot machine and then maybe end up like, like fucking stabbed, you know, and like drunk and, and like near dead floating on the Atlantic Ocean. So if you want to do that. No, it's not the Hard Rock Casino. It's the um, Ocean Resort which is a brand new one. There were two new casinos in Atlantic City. There is the Ocean Resort and Hard Rock. I think it's called that. And they're doing this convention at the new Ocean Place. And uh, I've not been yet. And I, I'm not really... Honestly, once a year is more than enough. It's where, Yeah, Revel Casino used to be there. Now it's Ocean Resort, correct. I don't know how you know that, Vappy, but very good.